Joining me now is the director of Little Ballers, Crystal McCrary. Crystal, thanks for being here tonight. Thank you for having me so much. It's a pleasure. Tell me, what, what did you learn about inner city boys in basketball? Well, the thing that I learned about uh, the young men in this film and really urban youth that play basketball is that it offers them hope. It's transformative. It often many, many of these young men who otherwise might be seduced by gangs in their community. It offers them a sense of family. It offers them some place to go. It offers them structure. It offers them an opportunity to get fit, to be competitive. But more than anything, the team has become a family to them. Now, now, there's so many NBA stars in the film. Amari Stoudemire is the executive producer. He played in this league growing up. How did it impact his life? I mean, he grew up in Florida in a challenging upbringing where basketball really was a, a lifeline for him, even for kids that don't make it to the NBA, because let's yeah, be honest. Yeah, that's what I was going to ask right. you, because everyone's not going to make it to the that's NBA. Right. What, what does it do for other kids? That's right. I mean, you, you're right. Most kids are not going to make it to the NBA, but, you know, 10 million kids play high school ball, 2,000 get Division I scholarships, 60 get drafted, and 30 make the team. So, you know, you do the math. It's not going right. to happen. But it does so much much more. I mean, it offers them an opportunity to learn to work through adversity, to learn to have teamwork, to keep them off the streets, to get an education. And that's one of the reasons I really wanted to tell this story. I wanted to show how diverse boys and girls through basketball, through sports, can be brought together and have their lives expanded. Now, the team also provides male role models to some boys who may not have them. I, I want to play a clip from the film of the coach talking oh, yes. to his team. Watch this. You guys have came together as a team. And that should be something that you guys should be proud of. Each and every one of you guys have something different and unique about yourself that you bring to this team, to this family. We're not a team, we're family. And family, to me, is the highest of the high. Crystal, how important is the idea of being not just a team, but family to these boys? Oh, it's tremendously important. I mean, even for the boys in the film who, yes, they have families, they have their fathers there, they have stepfathers, or maybe they're from divorced families. With Coach Billy, who you just saw in that clip, Coach Billy is a wonderful role model for these young men and has been coaching on the AAU circuit for 15, 16 years, and he's made it a point of staying involved in these young men's lives throughout high school and helping helping them to realize that even if they don't go pro, which as we know most won't go pro, they can get an education, they can become, they could become an orthopedic surgeon, they could, you know, become a trainer on a team, they could do a wide array of activities that still involve the game that all of these boys love so much, but they just don't necessarily have the role models in their lives to help get them to that point. Well, Little Ballers airs on Nickelodeon Sports next week. Crystal McCrary, thank you for your time tonight, and thank you for this important film. Thank you so much for being there. And if you can't watch it, put your DVR on. Thanks for watching. I'm Al Sharpton. Have a great weekend. Hardball starts.